This is Twit. Before we get to the news this morning, we'd like to turn to Rwanda, of all places, where the country is preparing to celebrate the 20-year anniversary of the end of the Rwandan civil war and genocide. It's an important subject, to be sure, but why are we talking about this on a technology show? The reason is that in the past few years, Rwanda has been engaged in a rapid buildup of technological infrastructure and technology education development. And with us to talk about the education part of this mostly is Jean Filbert Nsengimana, who is the Minister of Youth and ICT in Rwanda. Welcome to you. Thank you, Mike. Now, before we talk about education, can you tell us about some of the development of high-speed internet connectivity in Rwanda? It's, I've read about it, and it's incredibly impressive. Uh, well, Mike, uh, our story of uh, getting connected, uh, I think it's, it's a 20-year-old it's a story, basically. Uh, we got our first internet connection uh, late in the 90s, um, and it, that was based on VSAT. Uh, Rwanda has been connected to the submarine fiber optics of, uh, on, only uh, over the last four years. Uh, that's the time we also built a national fiber optic network touching all the four corners of the country. But Mike, let me correct a little bit. Uh, thank you for the introduction and uh, uh, reminding that Rwanda will be commemorating uh, the, uh, for the 20th time the genocide against the Tutsis. I think it's very important that the rest of the world understands that it, is not a, it was not a civil war. It was a genocide against the Tutsi, which is a group of uh, uh, Rwandans. Uh, it, that confusion tends to be used a little bit by people who deny genocide. But some people just use it because um, they don't know how to properly qualify it and they don't, I just wanted to make sure that it goes properly well recorded. Well, I appreciate that clarification and I would like to ask the Tech News Today audience who's involved in the Wikipedia to go correct that on the Wikipedia because uh, that's what it says. So let's let's get that uh, corrected uh, right. uh, there. So, yeah. um, so now before we get into the internet connectivity, I read a statistic recently that said that Rwanda has moved from at some point 2% penetration of phone service to 59% in a very short amount of time. How long did this transformation take exactly? The last time we had 2% uh, uh, phone users was, I think, 2006. Today we stand at about 65%. And it has been uh, an incredible growth. Uh, that is about 30, 30 times uh, uh, bigger. Now, what happened is uh, a series of measures. Uh, one is in liberalizing the sector, you know, making Rwanda one of the best places to do business in the world and in Africa especially, and being able to attract foreign direct investments in the telecommunications sector. But at the same time, are raising incomes of people so that they can afford uh, telecommunication services. Now, you make heavy use of Google Plus Hangouts in, in the technology, just jumping right into the nuts and bolts of, of the ed educational programs that you, are, uh, that you oversee. Uh, how is it you're using Google Plus Hangouts for education? Well, actually, it's not really education as such. Uh, our ministry is in charge of uh, youth and ICT. On the youth side, uh, we really focus on uh, promoting entrepreneurship and helping young people um, making livelihoods uh, for themselves. So we use this uh, Google Hangouts technology to really bring young people in contact with uh, support services, resources, mentors, uh, and, and so that they can really be able to translate their innovative spirits into solutions and enterprises. Now, um, by the way, we mentioned the, the infrastructure and the uh, fast internet in Rwanda. Anybody watching the video can see that, that the uh, Skype connection here is flawless. And so it's really, it's really a great connection, which is an example of how good the infrastructure is there. Um, now, just one more thing about the infrastructure that I should have asked you about. Now, you've built up the, the, uh, uh, the LTE and the, and the fiber optics, but you still have the next phase in this is the last mile, as they say. Uh, connecting uh, individual homes and businesses. Is that, is that correct? And, and who, who are you working with on that? I, I understand you're working with a, a Korean company? Yes. Uh, over the last few months, we've been working with the, a Korea Telecom. Now, the first mile or the first part is the backhaul links that we've built, as I, I said before, uh, reaching uh, every part of the country. But for the last mile, which is really to connect homes and businesses and offices, 
that's where we have gone wireless. Because of the way Rwanda is inhabited, it would have been really difficult to reach a critical mass of users if we rely to connect homes uh, by the fixed uh, uh, infrastructure, which, which, for which we didn't have a pre-existing install, unlike many countries in, in, in developed economies. So uh, the 4G LTE technology is the latest uh, uh, worldwide, and we've, uh, we've entered into this partnership to be able to extend 95% uh, coverage uh, to, to, to all Rwandans by 95% population coverage by 2017.